Hi gang, today what we're going to talk about, oh by the way, this is a wattle tree outside my bedroom window. I've actually come outside the bedroom to um, use it as a nice background. I hope you like it. Uh, if uh, you're a bit of a gardener, you'll know that uh, then it's probably August or September. Uh, I think the 1st of August is wattle day. Okay, so probably one of the most enduring concepts in the personal development field or industry is the idea that you have to believe in yourself. And certainly, you know, if I had a dollar for every time somebody said to me, you know, you've got to believe in yourself, or I have to believe in myself, then, uh, you know, we wouldn't be talking via video because I'd have, I'd have enough money to have uh, rung you up and uh, said, listen, I've buy, I bought your ticket to Bermuda, let's meet there, uh, because, you know, it's one of those concepts that uh, just gets talked about and talked about and talked about. Quite frankly, I think that it shouldn't. I don't think it holds any water. I don't know how it is that you're supposed to believe in yourself when you haven't done the thing that you're wanting to do that's brand new to you. So, you know, how on earth you believe in yourself when you go bungee jumping is beyond me. So, um, the, it raises the concept of well, what can work. So, I've never seen anybody really be successful by believing in themselves because I think that that's a false belief, you know. It's, a, it's just dreamt up and, and it has no basis in reality. We just decide I believe in myself because I'm going to. Uh, which, for, you know, for my basic kind of thinking, uh, means that there's really not much behind that, and that's why quite often we'll fall over and we'll be shattered because, you know, I thought that believing myself was going to get me the result, and here I am, I failed, and, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. So here's the thing that I've found's worked really well, and that's the idea that instead of believing in yourself, you believe in the possibility of what it is that you're wanting to do. So if you decided that you're going to be a property developer, then all you've got to do is believe in the possibility that you could be a successful property developer, rather than believe that you can, you will, you must, you have to, you're going to force it through by sheer massive effort, and whilst you're probably still going to have to make that massive effort, what I'm saying is that the difference between believing in yourself when you have no track record, and believing in yourself because you believe in the possibility that you could get there, either using someone else's system or inventing your own or breaking it down into small steps and achieving one at a time, whatever the, the reality for you is, I think it's a lot easier if we say, rather than try and develop self-confidence, something that I've struggled with for a hundred years, what I'm going to work on is the idea of not so much believing myself, but believe in the possibility that I could do this. The possibility that I could become more confident. The possibility that I could lose some weight. The possibility that I could make more money. The possibility I could get a promotion at work. Whatever it is. Think about it from believing in the possibility. And the reason I say believe in the possibility is that to my kind of, you know, dumbass way of thinking, I think I shouldn't have said that, but anyway, uh, to my way of thinking, um, as soon as we go to believe in the possibility, what occurs to me next is, all right, well, if that was going to happen, if I was going to lose this weight or if I was going to make some more money, if that was going to happen, what do I have to do? And can I break that down into steps small enough to say to me, what do I have to do tomorrow? What I have to do small easily repeatable steps so we say success is generated not by being inspirational and transformational and fantastic and massive effort we talk about small easily repeatable steps how small should those steps be small enough so you can easily repeat them bye for now